automotive front ends look like faces. We all know this, we've always known this, and someone finally capitalized on it to create that movie cars where the eyes incorrectly weren't the headlights, but rather the windshield, and yet it still went on to make $40 zillion in theaters. But while the cars and cars were largely friendly, I'm taking a look at a different aspect of the car face world today, cars that are unfriendly. In fact, to commemorate the fact that today is Halloween, I'm specifically looking at cars that are mean, or angry, or look like they want to tear you from limb to limb. Just to be clear, I'm not saying any of these cars are ugly, necessarily, just that they're MAD. Really, really mad. And I figured there's no better time to bring this up than Halloween. The front end of the Buick Regal GS is a little different from the other cars on this list, because it's not pointy or angled, but rather soft and curvy. Normally this would mean it doesn't look like it has a very mean face, but the Regal is different, because the Regal has fangs. Yes, it has narrow headlight eyes and a gaping mouth, but the real anger comes in its fangs, which are two air intakes on either side of the license plate that really do look like fangs especially on dark colored cars, since the intakes are framed in silver. If you see a Regal GS, get out of the way, lest it chomp you to bits with those fangs. Although the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso isn't a very aggressively styled car, its front end design is quite angry. Not only does it have a giant, wide mouth that makes it look like it's about to eat whatever crosses its path, its eyes onka its headlights are narrow and flat, giving a mean look just below the hood line. Yes, the GTC4 Lusso may look a bit like a long hatchback when you see it from the side, but from the front, it's not to be taken lightly. Even though the Hyundai Veloster is a little four-cylinder hatchback, just look at this picture. The headlights are angry, coming to a point right near the grille where it looks like the Veloster is mad at you for wronging it. Then there's the rest of the mouth, which looks like it has a giant tooth in the middle for chomping you to pieces. In reality, of course, that's a grille and a license plate mounting point, but it certainly looks like the Veloster might snarl at you when you walk by. Who knew the Infiniti Q50 was so mad? The grill design gives it the look of an angry animal with a large mouth, ready to eat anything that crosses its path, but the biggest giveaway that the Q50 is mean is its headlights, they're narrow, pointy and flat on the top. I think flat top headlights are the number one item that gives a car a mean look. It transforms the car from a hopeful, happy vehicle with rounded lights that look like puppy dog eyes into a skeptical, angry car that looks like it's zeroing in on its prey. The Lamborghini Huracan is certainly the meanest, angriest car here. Not only does the front of the Huracan look like a beak, but the front end design looks positively upset, mad and ready to strike. The narrow headlights are eyes focusing on their prey, and the beak sticks out from there with a wide mouth underneath that's ready to bite. Get one of these in orange and you won't even have to decorate a pumpkin for Halloween. We couldn't make this list without including at least one example of a Lexus with a brand spindle grill. The grill has been controversial, but it has certainly served its purpose, there's no question you're looking at a Lexus when you see a vehicle with this front end design. There's also no question you're looking at a very mean automotive predator, with narrow eyes and a giant mouth that looks like it's ready to take a bite out of anything it wishes. The IS looks most like this, in my opinion, but every Lexus with the new grill has this look to some degree. Mercedes AMG GT looks like a predator ready to strike. Once again it has flat top headlights, the universal sign of automotive angriness, but the mean face goes beyond that, the lights are topped with an LED light strip that looks like angry eyebrows, and they're stuck at the very corners of the front end, 
which is mostly filled with a gaping grill that looks like the mouth of a hungry bird. You don't want to upset an AMG GT. You'll agree this is especially true when you hear it.